Hello, everybody. Welcome to May's edition of Bourbon Bite Size Learning, featuring May's recipe from the 2021 Nutrition Education Calendar. Hope y'all picked up your own coffee by now and you're cooking along with us. But let's look and see what today is. May, better hope we've already looked, huh? May, we're gonna be making Master Mixed Pancakes. And how perfect is this for Mother's Day coming up this oh, weekend? Yes, perfect. So, I love some pancakes. I would Day. love some pancakes too, especially these because they are super yummy. So, uh, families, get ready. Um, this is gonna be a great treat uh, for mom or whoever that special lady is, um, you can make some pancakes. So let's get started. So they are called Master Mix Pancakes because um, you're going to make a mix that you can store to have for later. So we're not going to use all of this Master Mix today. We're just going to use a cup of it. Okay. So the first thing that we're going to do, we've got, of course, all of our ingredients already measured out to make this go quicker. So in my bowl here, I'm going to put in four cups of all-purpose flour. Okay. Next, we're going to add in two cups of whole wheat flour. And the, um, incorporating the whole wheat flour just is going to give us an extra boost of additional fiber okay. in this recipe. So, but we're, since we're still mainly using the white, it's not going to change the flavor of the pancakes too much, okay? But if you buy a lot of whole wheat flour for just this recipe and you're going to have some left over, make sure you store your whole wheat flour in the refrigerator. Yeah. It does go um, bad quicker because it is a more natural product, mm -hmm. so it does need to be stored in the fridge. Okay, so we've got our flours. Now we're going to add in some sugar. So we've got two-thirds cup of just regular sugar in there. Okay. And then we're going to add in two tablespoons of baking powder and a tablespoon of baking soda. Okay, and that is our master mix. So we're going to mix this together well. Okay. And you can make other recipes from this also. So you look for things that anything that you can make from the pre-prepared master mixes that you buy at the grocery. Okay, you can use some of those recipes. It's basically the same thing while you made your own. Save some money. All right. So since I'm only using a cup of this, how am I going to store the rest of it for longer? So we're going to store it in one an airtight container. Right. Right. And um just somewhere in a cool place. And so you wouldn't want to put it like above your stove or um, below a cabinet. So a cool place. And it can stay fresh for up to six months as long as it's in um, an airtop container. So very good value here. All right, so that's ready to go. If you're not going to use it very often, you might want to mark, take a piece of tape and mark your container as to when you made it. Because after six months, it does start to break down. All right, so we're going to grab another bowl. And we're going to get working on our pancake mix. So for our plain pancakes, want to go on a measure of that oh. at the fat? Sure. So for our pancakes, we're going to need an egg, some skill milk, some vanilla, some cinnamon, and then our master mix. So we have a cup of our master mix. And so we're going to put our egg in our bowl, our milk. our vanilla, and our cinnamon. Okay, and Ms. Kay, if you'll dump in our Master Mix there. Okay. We're going to whisk it as we put it in there. Okay. Just going to get that incorporated together. Now, this is just for a plain cake. Like we said, it is Mother's Day. So, you might want to jazz these pancakes up just a little bit. There's lots of beautiful fruit around this time of year. Right? Who doesn't like pancakes? Mm -hmm. Love them. 
that was so yummy. And I like uh, pancakes and breakfast foods for dinner every once in a while, too. So not just for breakfast. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we've got that mixed together. Now, we can cook these like this. Right? Just have a plain pancake. And we'll show you what. We'll maybe go on and get scoop out one to show you what a plain pancake is. That's it. Okay. It's going to be a little creepy. Yeah. So we'll scoop out. Okay, it's got our griddle, so we're just going to use the flat griddle. And a third of a cup of the batter is what you will need to make a pancake. I love when recipes tell me exactly how much batter to use because, you know, you kind of want them about a similar size. That way they cook more evenly. All right, so we, <laughs> we have our griddle here, and we're just going to give it a light spray with um, some cooking spray, okay. okay? So we'll do that. Don't overdo it. If you don't like cleanup, you're not yeah. gonna like this. Just a light spray with that, okay. All right. So this is a great way for kids to help too because you can give them a scoop and they can just True. go to measure. It makes it a little easier for them. Um, instead of just you know pouring out of a bowl or something, so this is a great way to do that. And so once this is hot, we're going to put this on our griddle and cook up a plain pancake. Now, we said that we were going to take this to another level. Sure, it's another thing. Okay. And how about we make some berry pancakes today? We just happen to have some. Very berry salsa, which is another one of our recipes, not on this year's calendar. You can stop by the extension office to get this recipe, but about how much? And about three fourths of a cup. We have a fourth of a cup measuring cup, so we'll need three of those. This very berry salsa has apples and strawberries, blueberries, blackberries. Did I hit all of them? Raspberries. Raspberries. Yeah. yeah. So all the berries, right? So you know that this is going to make them even healthier for us. Okay. So we're just going to give that a little stir. This is going to make them really pretty as well. Okay. So I bet our griddle is warm. Let me try that. Oh. I have to tell you, I'm not the pancake maker at my house. Mm. My husband is much better at cooking pancakes. Than I. So he leaves that up to him at my house. <laughs> and to eat them after he's made them. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to add in our berry pancakes. Oh my gosh. Those look good. So yummy. I don't know if that's what it feels like. Yes, it's. <laughs> I should have showed you what our uh, when I was making pancakes for my children with the plain. I was just looking. I don't think it would work with the berries. But you just put a little drop on the griddle, two drops for eyes, kind of make a smiley face, mm -hmm. and then a mouth, and then let that heat, okay, till the pancake's almost done, and then pour some more over top of it, and then when that's ready to flip. You flip and you've got a big old smiley face. Oh, pancake. how fun. I'm not that mom. <laughs> <laughs> we tried other things. Well, <laughs> my kids will tell you that they don't have that mom. <laughs> well, sometimes accidentally they look like they had ears. Yeah. So they were Mickey Mouse. <laughs> they say, oh, we want some Mickey Mouse. Well, I, that was an accident. I can't make that happen again. But, you know, <laughs> we all have our strengths and weaknesses. And we figure out what those are pretty early, I think. <laughs> also, if you didn't want to put the, the salsa in oh. the recipe, you could serve it on the side. Mm -hmm. Okay? And maybe you don't want your, maybe you want the plain one over here, but you want your fruit on the side. Mm -hmm. So there's lots of options. Anytime you got pancakes, there's options. Oh, yeah. There's, pancakes are so versatile. You can do so many things with them. There's even an option in this recipe to make a banana pancake. So you can push up some bananas. So, you know, at your house, you buy a pack of bananas, and inevitably, there's a couple left over that probably get a little mushy. This would be a great uh, way to use up some of those mushy bananas. 
So instead of not making banana bread, you can make banana pancakes. It's a little something different. You're healthier. Yeah. All right. I'm going to grab a special, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. in here. It's there. Maybe. We go. Live TV. Oh, still not ready. It's still got a little um, batter on my spatula there, so it means that they are not quite ready yet. Sometimes kids like to top their own, too. So you might make, if you didn't want to mix the things together and make the berry berry salsa, which also has like a little bit of a sugar type salt yeah. on it. Not very, very, very light. Yeah, that um, the, the kids might like to put their own blueberries on there. Right? They can make a face of that. Yes. I do down know that. Why don't we make a little eyes with the blueberries yeah. and a little mouth and a little half of a strawberry could be a nose. That works too, right? <laughs> kids typically like eating pancakes, and I'm a kid at heart, but they also enjoy being a part of the kitchen. Yeah. And they, you're creating memories, you're having family time, you're uh, teaching them how to be independent, and uh, it will be very helpful. Usually when a pancake's ready to turn, it starts to get bubbles on the top, okay? There's just a few little bubbles there. You want to test it again on the side? No, no, nope. still not ready. I think our griddle is a little off because, again, black TV. It's a plug. Okay. Well, I think everybody knows how to flip a pancake, right? Yeah. So we won't keep you much longer because we do try to keep this to a minimum, but we want to share with you. Well, we also want you to share with us. We'd like to see comments. We'd like to see uh, if you're enjoying your calendar, just what's going on with uh, your calendar in your household. And especially if you do it for Mother's Day. Oh, wouldn't it be fun to see all the pictures oh, of the moms one. eating their pancakes? Yeah. So. So look how pretty that picture is. That's just the plain pancakes with some of the fruit on the side. So that makes a great alternative to um, using a bunch of syrup or anything like that. It just gives you a little something different, you know, a little healthier version of eating a pancake. You could also maybe top with some yogurt mm. with um, mm. the fruit um, or even honey would be a great um, substitute. Um, yes, some something milk. different. I like peanut butter on that. Oh, yeah. You, you put the peanut butter on there and then it melts. Mm. Peanut butter and the banana one you were talking about oh, would be really good. good. Really good. I'm getting yeah. hungry. No. <laughs> it's lunchtime, right? It's lunchtime. Everybody's, uh, everybody's getting hungry. Okay. When these are done, we'll, we'll not stay on here much longer since it's already almost a quarter after. We will post a picture okay. of the finished product. Hey, have a, that's a good deal. So we'll we'll post our version of these uh, Master Mix. Okay. So remember, if you've not picked up your calendar, we are open here at the Bourbon County Extension Office. Come on in um, and pick up yours today. If you think that there's somebody in your life that you might like to share one with, come in and grab one for yourself and one for them. Okay. We're totally happy to provide one for your friend. We want to get these out there. There's so many good recipes. So we want you all to try them. And get started today eating healthier. We all need some tips on that. So come and see us at the Bourbon County Extension Office, 603 Millersburg Road, or give us a call, 987-1895. And we will see you next month. And I didn't check. Oh, it's some kind of taco. Oh, yes. Yeah, no, next month we have some surprises tacos. for you. And that would be June, right? It's rockin' chicken tacos. So tell your friends to join us, and we'll be having some tacos. Thank you. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.